Hey, we're back. So, hi. Thank y'all for everybody being here this evening. Appreciate it, appreciate it. So, we're going to be talking about why some women take the side of dusties, especially on social media and um, in videos on YouTube and just in general, why they take the side of a dusty or why they take the side of the man who thinks you're supposed to be 50-50 and bring everything to the table and do all this extra stuff. Why do they do that? So many women ask me, why do they do that? Y'all know why they do that. <laughs> um. Because they're, uh, now, the only reason why they do that is because there's no other way that they are going to get recognized by men. And even though, yeah, pick Misha, right? There's no other way for them to get positive recognition from men because the same women now listen to this very carefully the same exact type of women the same sorts of women the same caliber of women who are agreeing with these men are the same caliber of women that these men are exploiting talking trash about talking trash to um, they line up to support them only to be in turn victimized by the very dusty that they are trying to uplift and support. And they do this over and over and over. And then you wonder why they can't get a ring or a decent man or respect from a man or you know whatever a man to pay for anything because they line up for it they get in line to support someone that will exploit them and that is their that is their way to get validated you know they don't have the looks to or they don't use they can't really use um you know sex as validation so they use I'm going to agree with everything that he says because he's going to validate me in some way by acknowledging me. And then maybe I have a chance when he's drunk and the other girl won't give it up. And, you know, he'll call me at 1159 or something. You know, that's what they they want. The scraps, baby. They want the scraps of a dusty. Now, when you want the scraps of a dusty, something is wrong. OK, they don't even want. They'll share a dusty. That's how sad that is. If you got to share a dusty who wants money from you, you are on the low, lowest end of the totem pole. You want dusty scraps. That is sad. And whenever I see one of them types of women in my comments, I feel so bad for them because I know they're getting dusty scraps. And woo, you know. That in itself is a punishment. So my thing is, you know, psychologically, what makes these women line up to get knocked down? I don't understand. And I feel that a lot of these women who line up to support a Dusty get talked about in the next video that the Dusty does or the next posting that a Dusty does. And not, you know, particularly, but in general. So when I say, you know, um, these women who line up to support a Dusty, the Dusty is posting trash about a woman just like you in his next post. So why do you support that? You know, it's strange. Um, how you doing? Self-esteem is hard to build for women. We aren't congratulated for living the way men are. You don't need congratulations. Congratulate yourself. <laughs> you know, 
Um, that's why I say build your own self-esteem. That William said it's called self esteem. So when women learn how to build their own self-esteem, I think you will see some changes. Um wounded inner child. My thing is they don't, I, I can't understand like people can't learn from their mistakes in the past. I don't know. Maybe they just don't want to learn. Maybe they don't, they don't think it's them. You know, I think a lot of people really don't understand their part or their role in their entire situation. They don't understand their role in their entire situation. So, um, right. <laughs> Men don't heal. Men don't heal. I don't know if you mean men don't heal women or men don't heal themselves. I don't know about, but men don't even feel anything to heal from. <laughs> okay, they don't care. Um, hey, I just here. Okay, I haven't been on very long. Thank you, Sarah. Upgraded from level up to gold digging group. Love it. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Okay. Um, congrats. How do I explain this and drill this in my mom's head to get away from my dusty, abusive dad who asked her for $600 to help him pay his rent? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, some women feel sorry for men. And they uh, also, I don't know if they're still together or not, but... We just give her, just give her this video. Just give her the video, girl. And tell her you have to be super desperate to give an abusive, dusty man any type of money, unless he got some secrets on you that you don't want exposed or something, I, or blackmailing you about something. I wouldn't be giving up no money. And <laughs> even if he was blackmailing me, she should have more on him than she than he got on her. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't think that women should do that. Um, you just met a 40-year-old Dusty. He's a Scorpio. Should I have seen the kind of girl? <laughs> yes, you should have. Okay. Um, you think those women who keep siding with Dusties feel like they don't deserve a good life? That's so true. A lot of women say that they don't feel like they deserve a good life. I don't feel like I deserve it. I don't I don't deserve it. Why not? Why you don't deserve it? You know? And everybody deserves it. Deserve it. What do you think deserving something means? <laughs> Who was the first person to deserve anything? You know, um, so my thing is, don't think like that. Everybody deserves what they want. So they, that's if you want it, you deserve it. There you go. You keep t being told that you don't deserve the finer things, even from close family. Well, just because they don't deserve it, don't mean you don't deserve it. You deserve whatever you want. If you want the finer things, you deserve it. You know why you deserve it? Because you want it and you feel like you do. You feel like you deserve it. So that's why you do deserve it. You know? Think about it this way. When they go and apply for a job, do you think they feel like they deserve that job? When they go in on that interview, what are they what are they talking about? Oh, yes, I, I feel like I'm a great candidate for this uh, position. Yes, you know, A, B, C, and D. Da, da, da. They don't deserve that job but they feel that they do. So they talk about how they do deserve it and they really feel like they deserve it. So guess what? It comes across in the interview and then they get the job. If you like the finer things in life and you feel like you deserve it, then you should get it. Okay? So, you know, they, they feel like they deserve a job. They feel like they deserve, you know, to go work for somebody, so. Maybe you don't, maybe you feel the exact opposite way. Go get what's yours, you know. 
Uh, I don't care what they're saying. I'm not them. We don't live the same life. That's them. This me. Separate the two. Okay. Um, you're 30 and you're dating a 41 year old. He's very kind and nice. Treats me well. Um, okay. If he's going to pay all your bills eventually, hey, it's good enough for me. But if he's not, ain't good enough. Ain't old enough if he's not willing to pay all of your bills. So you say your kid's dad pay all the bills. We don't get along. And he complains about it every day. I really want to move out and be a single mom until I find someone who is worthy of my time. Da, da, da. He complains about what? Paying all the bills? Or that you don't get along. Because I'm not going anywhere as long as somebody paying all the bills. I will pretend to be his best friend. I will pretend to, you know, uh, <laughs> it doesn't make sense to leave and have nothing unless you are able to pay for something else, you know. Unless you could replace him. Don't jump before you have something else to jump to. Okay. So... He complained about paying all the bills. You got to tell him. Such a, you're such a great man. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're so you're you're a man. You know, we really respect you, and you're you do what most men can't do. Just build him up, build his ego up about paying for everything, and then maybe he'll be proud to do it. You know, he probably feels like he's getting the bad end of the stick. You got to build up that ego around paying them bills. You need to brag on him in front of other people that. Oh, my husband is so great. He, you know, he, he pays for everything. He's such a good man. Now he's going to feel proud about it. And then he's going to take pride in paying for everything. You got to flip the script. You can't make it a complaint. You have to make it a good quality that he has and tell everybody that you know. Even if it's a fake phone call in front of him. Girl, my man is so good. Mm -hmm. He pay all the bills. You see? <laughs> He's gonna start going like this. Yeah, he ought to be. <laughs> so use your reverse psychology, make it work. Okay. Thank you, Dominique Smith. He spends the night at my house, says he can't pay. Then he can't spend the night no more. You wouldn't even be sleeping in my bed. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. You sleeping with a man and uh you ain't got no money and he's not benefiting you financially. That's your fault. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm -mm. You gonna sleep with somebody that ain't got nothing for you? Mm -mm. Don't, don't, don't do that anymore. That's not good. Um, don't do that. <laughs> if he's not paying, he ain't staying. Or even coming in the door. Right. Thank you, Aliko or Alicio. Shira, on your way to the up, how to deal with friends that kicked you when you were down or hurt you in a way, trying to learn not to get good. What friends? They kicked me while I was down. They're not my friend no more. Okay. I don't know them. I don't know you. Okay. They can watch me from the sideline. Rise up. But I don't know them no more. Okay. That's how you deal with them. You don't know them no more. Dominique Smith. Thank you. Says he passed bills too. That he can't afford a woman. That's what you need to tell him. Then you can't afford a woman. You know, that's my thing. I I can't, like, here's my thing. And I don't know why other people don't feel this way about themselves. I can't understand it. I just don't understand why y'all don't feel this way about yourselves. And I do. I don't know. But here's my thing. I'm not going to be with no grown man if he can't do what he needs to do as a man, which means pay for me. I can't do it. I value myself too high. If it's just for fun, if I'm young, 
if I'm not trying to, you know, if I'm not trying to be in no serious relationship, then fine. You know, I'm 20 something, I'm, you know, 22, 21, 18, 19, and I'm just having fun. That don't count. But when you get to the age where you're taking yourself seriously and your life seriously, then you need to be only dealing with serious men. And that man is not serious. Okay. Cause he can't even afford you. So why are you wasting time? That's my, that's my thing. I don't care if he got bills, go pay his bills and I'll find someone who can afford me and his bills. You see, that's not right. Thank you, little bliss. Why does Sugar Daddy say you have to struggle to get what you want in life? No, he asked, what assets do I have? I said myself, why be humble about your worth? Right, exactly. He don't need to be asking you all them questions. Tell him either you can afford me or you can't. Let me know. Spring sprinkle. Okay. Um. Right. The same reason you deserve finer things is the same reason a Dusty feels he deserves a woman out of his league that he cannot afford. Who wins? The person who believes it the most. That's who wins. Okay. So if you believe you don't deserve it, but the Dusty believe he deserved to have the type of woman that he has without paying a dime, in fact, and letting him, you know, live for free and you pay for him, then his self esteem grows and yours does not it gets less so who deserves what i deserve what i say i deserve and that's it if you can't give it to me then you don't deserve to be in my presence dismissed so keep your standards that's always say keep them standards up you keep letting them down then you're going to keep getting worse and worse uh type of men um Let's see. There's a whole YouTuber channel with a feminine thing. He talks about leveling up, but the dusty men at home <laughs> telling their soft stories. Sad. Thank you, the bliss. Sprinkle, sprinkle. We deserve the best. Dusties are selfish, have needs. Well, so do we. Yes, that's right. Um. So any woman that takes the side of a dusty. Lost the lost the game a long time ago. She just lost. She don't even. She's not even playing the game. She just come in and just give it up. Just give. I give up. I forfeit. Gone dusty. <laughs> okay. She ain't even. She ain't even in the game. She forfeit. You know. <laughs> so that's that's my thing. Thank you. You're right. She would just keep it moving. No emotions. Wasn't a friend anyway. That's right. It wasn't a real friend anyway. It was just a witness. That's what I call it. You just witnessed me. <laughs> so, what about men that come and go? You allow them to come and go. Because they would be gone if it were me. Unless they come in to pay. You know, unless they're coming in and giving me some some money, they can come and go whenever they feel like it, as long as I'm getting paid. But they can't come and go for no free. I don't know. Like, you gonna come in my life and bring me some money, bring me some gifts, pay some of these bills. Then you can go along about your way whenever you feel like it. But when you come back, if you do decide to return, you need to bring something with you. And I'm still going to be doing what I'm doing, whether you coming or going. So that's my thing. Y'all need to look at this from the perspective of, are you benefiting? If you are not benefiting, it's not good for you. Okay, it's not good for you. What do I think about Prince Harry walking away from it all? Mm -hmm. Is it a dusty move? Nope. It ain't no dusty move. Probably get paid more not being in that royal family. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. she, I need some help. I have a boyfriend who is caring and in college full time like me, but doesn't work. And he comes from a rich family. I work though. Is he too dusty for now to trust? I don't worry about college boys, girl. Are you going to marry him? Then why, why are you worried about him? Just date him, have fun. And when you, when you finish college, 
focus on someone who is going to give you the bag. You know what I mean? If he does have a wealthy family, do you fit into that wealthy family lifestyle? Are you? Can he take you home to mama? Are you just his fund for the, for the year? You know what I'm saying? Know where you fit in and then go from there. If you're the type of woman that he will introduce to his parents, you know, if he's the type of woman that has plenty of options and you just have to feel the situation out. I'm not wasting my time with nobody in college because I know he's too young and he's going to change his mind about 20 times before he picks a wife. So, no, not wasting time. Plus, if you don't have any money, if it's, it's his parents going to give him money, can he buy you stuff? I mean, I don't know enough information. Let me make this bigger. Okay, here we go. My aunts say when I tell them that a woman should pay, shouldn't pay a penny, they say there are no men who would pay for anything in marriage. Life is beautiful. A couple cooperate. Sound like brainwashing to me. Mm -hmm. Are your aunts cute? Are they leveled up? Who are you listening to? What do they look like? How do they leave their house looking? You know? What if Dusty abuses you? I don't understand why you would be with a Dusty abuser. You know, I wouldn't be there. If he Dusty, you don't need him. Okay. She's the only person on YouTube to make me feel better. Got used by Dusty, but she's making me feel better about myself already. Thank you, Erin. Yeah, you got to do better and just stop settling for dust. All right. Think higher of yourself. A high earner from my past wants to see me again. He's willing to take care of me, but he is too touchy-feely. And I don't know if I can keep him off of me. How do I handle the trip to Miami? Get a separate room. Take a friend. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I want my friend to come, and we're going to have our own room. Hi, sure. I'm 26, leveled up, but I feel like... feel like what? Okay. So anyway, you know, it, the type of women that will stand up for Dusty is probably also brainwashed. Probably also brainwashed. And her, you know, her her mom might have been a pygmisha and she didn't know any better. Um, when women wake up to their value and worth and start taking care of themselves then they will stop taking the side of someone that does not value them and start valuing themselves. So, you know, as women, we have to understand that not everyone is in the same place mentally because that's all that they know. So instead of putting them down, teach them, tell them, that's what I do. That's what I do. If I see some comments where Pick Misha stepping in to defend a Dusty, I ask her a few questions. In the, you know, and as she starts thinking, okay, don't be don't be super mean. Teach, you know, tell tell her she's worth more than that and she doesn't deserve that because nobody probably told her that before and. and if she just did this and that, she could probably get a better looking man with more money or a richer man. He ain't got to be even good looking or whatever. But it starts by someone telling them because they don't know. They just don't know. So instead of being, you know, ooh, da, 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 that's going to make them like you less and want to represent, you know, pick Misha even more rather than, you know, come on to your side of the, you know, the thinking. Sometimes kindness will also bring them over to this side. Just listen, you know. So sometimes you got to do that. Don't always have to argue with people. Just teach them because they don't know any better. Mm -hmm. um, so... 
the true that's true the message changed my life learning how to freestyle was a bonus yay <laughs> Um, <laughs> do Dusty's clean? I don't know. You get more bees with honey. That's so true. So, you know, um, you, you, okay, you're 26, you leveled up, you feel like you don't take, your man don't take you or your value seriously. I think I'm easy because I'm friendly and happy. Should I be more standoffish? No, you should write down your standards and stick to them and do not budge until they meet them. Okay. A woman with no standards stands for nothing. Okay. Have some standards. In order to date me, you're going to have to pay for everything. In order for me to be exclusive relationship with you, you're going to have to uh, benefit me in some form or fashion. And, um, you know, just keep your standards, keep them standards. And if they don't meet them, they don't get to be in your presence. That's it. They cut them off. Oh, you don't want to meet my standards? Then I'm not going to do anything for you at all. Cut them off in the bedroom. Stop doing anything for that person. If you're not benefiting, he's not benefiting. Thank you, Noella. Yes, he uses parents' money on me, but I'm worried that he won't make his own money one day to use on me since he has relied on them for so long. And get two of them, baby. Might as well get two. Just in case. Go get one that already has money. That way you already know and you don't have to worry about it. Go get someone that already is making their own money. You're going to have to go older, but at least you already know. You don't have to sit there and wander. Okay. Um, neglect them. Shira, I'm working on cleaning out this machine. Oh, masculine energy. Sorry. I've been operating in. What do I do if I have a naturally deeper voice? I sound so fake trying to baby talk. Girl, you better... You better sing. You better sing your words. Not literally, but you know. Um, if you, maybe if your voice is deeper, maybe you can just act more feminine while you speak and smile like at the same time so it doesn't, you know, seem that deep. Mm -hmm. why is it all of a sudden when a shrek dude an ugly dude has an attractive woman by his side all of a sudden all females want him pick me should type because they think he has money dude he got some money because an attractive female wouldn't be with shrek unless he was benefiting her we already know that um, sometimes I think I give up too easy. I don't feel like I'm doing much work with this old guy. He says, I don't, he says only simps do stuff for women before sex. What do you think? I think you're with the wrong man if he's using the word simp. Okay. Wrong target, baby. Um, he's the wrong target and he's obviously not trying to be anybody's, um, provider because he probably doesn't have anything to provide okay move on right he's probably too broke and stuck in his ways okay how do I confront my sister without snapping um, she is staying with us and keeping, keep making comments to my husband. Aren't you tired? Stressing you out as soon as you walk in. She is getting in his head. What? Girl, why your sister is there? I would just come straight up and look. If you don't, if you say one more thing to my husband, you got to go. You better start looking at extended stays or something because you got to go. 
Bet you she'll shut up then. Okay. That's your house, right? Talk. <laughs> that would be me. I, I see. I, if you're going to be in my house, you're going to respect me. Or you got to go. I don't care who you are. You got to go. That's just that. Stop being a, a doormat and stand up for yourself and kick the person out if they disrespect your home. That's that's how it has to be. Um, Your own sister shame. That's right. It's a shame that she would stoop that low to get kicked out. Okay. Um, I'm getting discouraged with finding a sugar daddy. They keep trying for sex right away. How should I handle this? Level up even more. To, I don't know how old of a, the man you're choosing, but you need to choose a different man. And if you're meeting them online, you need to stop meeting them online and get out in the real world and meet people there. People treat you like what they think you are. Okay. And I've said this in so many videos. Most people that meet online, they think you're looking for sex. So meet in person, meet the old fashioned way, you know. How to better a man to be more affluent in his caliber. Be more fluent in your character and see if he mimics you to keep up with you. Um, <sighs> okay, I'm going to read this. You already know the answer to it. Your boyfriend of three years was supportive and met him at 20. He was 26, no job, stupid me, paid on dates, went to see him. Then I decided to come to the U.S. and now he proposes. Get the ring and then don't, don't get married. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's all your payback. Make sure the ring is real. If he ain't coming with no ring, it's not a proposal. Take the ring, tell him you're going to think about it and don't ever call him back and tell him, nope. Uh, I don't want to get married. Okay, that's your payback for all them dates. Make sure the ring is real. Go have it appraised. If you're not proposing with a ring, then why why are you asking me questions? Mm -mm. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, just get the ring and go back home. That's exactly what you need to do. I recently came into some coin and I want to try Leave my dusty boyfriend. Yes, I used to be a pick me shot. I ain't gonna lie, but how do I tell him to? We have a kid. You don't tell him nothing. You just leave, baby. Oh, yeah, I gotta tell people everything. Just like I'm moving out. They don't change anything. Y'all ain't married. Okay, I'm moving out. This ain't working no more. Okay. Should you care about meeting kids who are your age? I don't care. We're going to be best friends. Okay. Um. How to convince women to leave the dusty side and go to the right side. Be a good example of what the right side looks like. Keep calling them and asking them to do stuff that you know they can't afford to do. They're like, no, I can't afford it. Oh, girl, sorry. Forgot you was with a dusty. Thank you, Noella. Shira, do you think a boyfriend should financially support me to where I don't have to work? Or is that too much to expect unless he's a husband? Girl, if he's taking you off the market, if you are exclusive to him and only him, if he wants you to move in, if he wants to sleep with you and not date anybody else, yes, he should be paying all of those bills. If he just wants to date you, then he need to be doing something like, you know, giving you a gift every now and then, giving you a little change every now and then or whatever. But he, you cannot take yourself off the market for someone who has not invested in you fully. You know, why should you take yourself 
off the market if someone has not invested in you fully. That's dumb. You know, so no, don't be exclusive unless he's exclusively exclusively taking care of you. That's my take on it. Exclusively taking care of you. Otherwise, keep dating other people at the same time. Mm hmm Uh, how do you deal with high earners that have a condescending mouth, the type that will spoil you but can't but get reckless at the mouth when they are frustrated? Or, I don't hear nothing. I'm not paying attention to their words. I'm paying attention to their actions. Where's my money? You know? <laughs> I can't hear them. If it's highly offensive and you feel like you are taking um, verbal abuse from them, then abuse them financially. Make them pay for it. Oh. <clears throat> like, oh, you gonna call me names? Okay, well, you gonna, you're gonna be uh, paying a lot more. I need this, I need that. Until either A, I find another one, start my own business and don't need him anymore and go get another one. or But I'm not going to leave empty handed and I'm not going to let it bother me. I'm just going to keep collecting my money and not caring. You know. <laughs> Was James open to having, I didn't discuss stupid stuff like that. I, I did what I wanted to do. Like someone says, was James open to having kids when you first met him? Don't matter. I'm the woman. You see? No matter what he won't. He he don't have no kids. Like he he doesn't he doesn't get pregnant and he doesn't give birth. So of course he wouldn't be comfortable being pregnant and giving birth. That's my job. And I decide when and where and how I give birth, who I give birth from, and um to. So it has nothing, it don't matter what he thinks. You're going to do what you're going to do. So I say never talk to a man about that. Who cares? You're going to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Um, he has nothing to say about it. <laughs> so I have just helped at least 10 of you wake up to reality. With, where's your money? Where's your, you paid them? You gave him some money. <laughs> Should you finish studying before kids? Why? So you can leave them at the daycare while you go work? I don't know. It's up to you, baby. Mm hmm. Um, right about that. I know I'm right about that birth. Do what you want to do when you want to do it. Um, Hi, Shira, how do you get pregnant without him knowing? You don't know how to get pregnant? <laughs> Say you gained weight, girl. I don't know. Um, act like you don't know either. Ooh, it's a surprise. How do you know when men are more prone to divorce in the future? If they've divorced before? Most likely if they've divorced before. If they keep talking about divorce, if they don't like you more than you like them, probably. Right. What do you think about the movies, Hustler? I never saw that movie. I'm so sorry. Right. So level up and start making money then. How can I get lesbian lover to pay all bills? I'm usually more feminine. I think most are. I don't know. The same way. Just tell them your ex-boyfriend. Used to pay your bills, and maybe she'll want to do the same thing. I don't know. Um, right. 
First time here, are you in a relationship? I'm married. I've been married for a long time and I have two kids. So thank you for coming and welcome. And I hope you subscribe. Can you block this? You can block them. You know, y'all can block individual people as well. Okay. He made a whole new page. What? You blocked him? I know. It's okay. Let him let him keep typing. He don't get tired. You know, he ain't got no life. Let him keep typing. It don't matter to me. Um, I don't get triggered by trolls, so. Dating a wealthy man over 60 ghosted me over the holidays. Now, wants, girl, he, he didn't want to buy you no gifts, girl. You know, that's what they do. Still hasn't paid or gifted me yet, trying to do my best to be. But girl, you should have been. He's not going to ever do it. Just keep, like, move on. If he wants to come back, he needs to pay to come back, which means he needs to give you some money in order to even be welcome back into your life. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm How to freestyle for the first time ever. I'm 26. Girl, for the first time? Just go out and be seen and be cute and let men approach you. Go to a nice area where men have money. Go to a rich area. It's just like you're going out by yourself or going to get something to eat or, you know, going to the bar, going to the grocery store in a rich area and looking cute and just being, you know, approachable. You met this older man and you told him so many lies to help the connection. I'm starting to like him. He does everything for me. Thinking of a real relationship, what do I do? Lies will come out. Just tell him you lie. Or make the lies real in some type of way. Figure it out. You can make it real. For example, if you told someone, oh, I'm from this place and you're not from that place, just say, well, I didn't know you. You could have been a serial killer. So I never tell people where I'm really from. So now that I trust you, this is where I'm from. You just blame it on your safety. That's it. Um, if it's something like that, but if it's something major, then you just tell them, you know, I'm sorry for lying to you. I just didn't know if we were going to be together. So I think I need to tell you the truth now, A, B, C, and D. And if they really like you, then they won't care. <laughs> Lied about being exclusive with someone. Should I feel bad? You should never tell them. That's none of their business. And why should you feel bad? Are they paying all your bills? Are you married? You single till you're married. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> um... Ladies and gentlemen, stop being triggered. I don't block people on my channel in the comments. If you are triggered, block them yourself. You understand? Like, they don't do that. And the reason I don't do it is because they can hack you that way. Okay? So if you don't want to see them anymore, block them. Okay, it's not that I don't see them and I don't care. I don't need a moderator unless the moderator wants to get hacked. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. I lied about my age. I'm 43. He thinks I'm 33. Do I tell him the truth, girl? Just say you've been 40. You tell him you've been 33 for 10 years as a joke, and he'll figure it out. Thank you, Chance. Uh, Shanice, sorry. On a roller coaster with your Dusty for six years, he started giving me money, but I'm afraid that he will never change. How do I move on without getting depressed? Get another one. You can't get depressed if you have someone else new because you'll be too busy working on that relationship. You know what I'm saying? And why would you be depressed about a Dusty anyway? And how much money is he giving you exactly? Is it enough to even be depressed over? You know, think about that. Um... He's probably not going to change. And even though he is giving you money, is it enough? Can you do better if you leveled up? Ask yourself those questions. Chances are you can do better. He won't change. And 
If you're depressed over a dusty, something wrong with you. Okay? Don't be depressed over someone that's doing you wrong. That makes no sense. Be happy that you have escaped and moved on to bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. Shira, sure, how do I tell him I like gifts? How do I get him to spoil me? Talk about it. Whenever he asks you a question, have that question, have the answer relating to things that you like to do. Notice things on other people and say, oh, I really like her necklace or I really like her purse or I really like her this and oh, I really like that. You know, admire things and that's what you talk about. <laughs> Your boyfriend has a daughter the same exact age. How do I not make it awkward when I meet her? Act more mature, dress more classy, be more polished. Okay. Don't act just like her. Be the be the evolved, more mature version of someone your age. Okay? That way, it's not like she's beating someone her own age. Even though you are, you don't think like it. You see? Um... Hi, advice please, sugar daddy who's been taking care of me, taking care of everything, and then some, but asks you about your future, how many kids you want to have, and also advising young, good men, etc. What? I don't even know what that means. Advising me on good men. Oh, okay, okay. That means he's not going to be in your future, he ain't going to have no kids with you, and he hope you find a good man one day, because... It ain't going to be him. He will give you some money or he wants to see if you're going to say, well, I want to be with you. So my response would be. Well, it depends on how old you are. My response would be, oh, I'm not thinking about that right now. I'm just trying to live my life. But I'm sure, you know, those, you know, that day will come for that lucky that lucky person and then kind of look at him like it could be you. You don't know nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That way he will think he has hope or he'll think that you see him in that role. And so he'll treat you accordingly. Um, you met the correct target. He said he don't do 50-50, but he isn't rich, but seems to have a comfortable lifestyle. Well, then get your money, girl. Mm -hmm. Make sure you got enough so that you both can have a comfortable lifestyle if you decide to have kids and get married. Okay. Can't believe I'm watching a live. Hey, met, meet me. At the late, what? How you doing? Sure, what would you say to someone who feels like they've never met anyone better than so-and-so? Is that so-and-so Michael Jackson? Because <laughs> then I believe them. But if it's another person, say, oh yeah, I feel the same way about somebody else. Okay. I feel the same way about my first boyfriend. Now y'all both are on the same level now. Because you haven't met anyone better than this person and he hasn't met anyone better than you. So now he's not in the position he tried to put himself in. I'm 24, he's 64. I've not given it up yet in a little, what? In a little over four years, I've known him. Good for you. Stretch it, stretch that timeline out. I actually started Freemasonry. We just be playing Scrabble. Good for you. Scrabble it up. <laughs> mm-hmm.
He said, y'all just be playing Scrabble. That's, that's a hidden message. They're trying to tell you how important words are. How valuable words are. Okay, anyway. What if D too good, but he dusty girl? That's what D stand for, dusty. <laughs> I always say... I'm the type of person that cannot enjoy certain things unless there's money behind it or benefits behind it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like a crack here when they inhale that crack or whatever. And, oh, it's so good. But it's crack. Okay. If I want to feel good about doing something, it needs to fit my lifestyle. So, um, I need to have, like, I need to. Take a deep breath in my nice house, in my nice car, and I have to go to work. That feels good. Okay. That feels way better than anything. So, I mean, a lot of stuff feel good, but is it good for you? Is it good to your lifestyle? So, I don't care how good something is. There's always something better. Like a good lifestyle. <laughs> If he dusty and his family rich and he probably has a good future. <clears throat> I'm not going to wait to see that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to wait for somebody to choose me. and See what they're going to do. Especially if they're young. Chances are they're going to do whatever they want to do. So I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm 18 and never been in a relationship. Should I start with sugar? Dad? Girl, date some regular people first so you can understand, you know, certain things. Then when you, you feel like you're ready, yes. But date regular people first. Mm-hmm. So... Sure, what if just by your profession they already know you earn a lot? You can already you can always lose your job. You can always lose your job. <laughs> Not really, but you can always say you did. <laughs> you say you're a marijuana addict, so you were dusty. Okay, at least you know what you are. So, here's my thing with the type of person you choose today. I'm not going to mess with no dust. I'm not going to defend dust. Um, I'm not going to take up for dusty nests. I just feel that women should understand this because you set the standard. You set the standard of how dusty a man can be and still be with a woman. Pygmisha sets the standard for how dusty a man can be and still get with a woman. So it's basically up to ladies to stop doing that, to um, put more value on themselves and to um, not allow somebody who is not worthy to be in your presence. That's just what it is, you know. Don't do that. <laughs> and, you know, so someone told me that some dusty dude who makes videos, I don't even know who it is because I don't watch dusty videos, and mentioned me or talked about me or something in the level up ladies or I don't care what a dusty think. Who does? I mean, tell me one person besides picky should that care about what a dusty think. Okay, so I, I, I don't really care. I don't make response videos to dusties. Thank you, lovely brown eyes. Grateful for your videos, I have changed my pick me should tend to thank you girl sprinkle sprinkle good for you lovely brown eyes <laughs> okay so i don't care about what a dusty think who does name me one person that does besides pick me even they mama don't care what they think okay 
Just saying. Your sugar daddy wants you to live with him. He has told me I'm wife material. Do you think he's hinting on marriage? Get the ring first, baby. Where your ring? Do you quit your job? Get you a lump sum of lump of change to put in your savings account. You know, if you wife material, you no longer work. He pays for everything. You want his insurance for car insurance. You don't work no more. You got a ring. You got all that? Make a checklist. And when you get it all, then you can go ahead and move in, girl. Okay. Uh-oh, here come Millen and Magdalene. This is one of the pygmishas. Date is code word for prostitution. Don't confuse date with court. Is that right? So are you gonna are you gonna go on a courting a courting session? Or are you trying to say that if you're dating someone, it's prostitution, but courting someone is not prostitution? Okay. I think courting is the same thing as dating. If you're smart, it is. If you're dumb, you think dating is doing everything that married people do. Mm -hmm. But it's not. Dating is courting. I met someone who I share similar goals with when it comes to leveling up. But when we go out, she bends over and twerks and is always embarrassed. How would you handle that situation? child um it honestly it would it really wouldn't bother me because i'm not the one doing that and i would just be just as in shock as everyone else um i would use that opposition and you know to make me look a little bit different look being compared so it could work in your favor. I don't know. Philip Bliss, what do we say to men we live with who love to cook every day? I'm tired of it and go out with others. Am I rude for not being impressed? Also, what does seeing about you mean? Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm a woman. I have my own brain and mind. If I want to go out to get them to eat, I'm going. What about you mean? It means... You're going to have to wait. It means I'm not doing anything right now. And it's going to be in the future. That's what it means. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I think you need, I need, I think you need to start uh, speaking your own mind and doing what you want to do. If you are truly the prize, you can do that. You know, I'm tired of eating. I don't want to go out to eat. In a nice way, you can say, oh. I'm so tired of eating in. Let's go out. Your food is all starting to taste the same. I need something else to compare it to. Okay, or bring home food. Like when you go out, bring home, uh, you know, leftovers like you already ate. Or make plans. It's like, I already made reservations for us at such and such, so we're going out to eat tonight. You don't have to cook. There you go. Um, not a lot of men cook, so that's impressive. I like men. But not every day. Sometimes you want to go out to eat. Come on. Go out to eat with somebody else. Tell them you somewhere else. I'm at my mom's house. Be out to eat. Um, sure, what if you're already rich? And get somebody richer than you, baby. Go for a man with more money. There you go. Um, hmm. Shira, no, not what? Taste the same, right? Make plans because some men are clueless. All right. Tell me you already made plans. You got reservations. Let's go. How to do a jealous woman at work. Give them more to be jealous about, baby. You always in heels and well-dressed. Tell them I like to look pretty. Yes, I love looking beautiful every day. 
then look down at her like, I enjoy looking pretty and dressed up on a daily basis. It's just who I am. Just tell her that. Y'all enjoy looking rat ratchet every day. That's who y'all are. Basically, that's what you're telling her. So just tell you enjoy it. They just mad because they can't do it. Thank you, Loveless. He's the one who's providing everything, but always tells me, remember who's seeing about you. I'm like, what does that mean? Thank you for that. Either he means nobody's looking for you or remember he's taking care of you. That's what it means. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Basically, he's putting you back in your place. Remember who's paying for everything. That's why I tell you to get another one. So you can say, hmm. Okay. Do you think it's worth it to become an Amazon seller? If you, I mean, it could work. A lot of people do it. Just try it as a side, a side hustle and see what you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about teaching men to find a sugar mama? That's too easy. Just to go to pick Misha around tax season. <laughs> that easy. I'm temporarily in a wheelchair. How do I attract an awesome rich man? Temporarily in a wheelchair. I don't think many people are going to be attracted to a woman in a wheelchair that is rich. You don't have to get about that wheelchair. Wait till you get about the wheelchair. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. I mean, men won't even stick around if you get sick. How many how many husbands divorce or leave their spouse when they get sick? Girl, don't be rolling up in no wheelchair trying to get a man. Mm -mm. Um. Once these old men die out, we're going to be screwed. These young guys think they're girls. That's why you got to get the old ones now. Get in that will. Get that property. Get that deed. Get the businesses. And that's why I'm telling y'all to do this now. Because in, what, 15 more years, you ain't going to be able to do this. Because they ain't going to have nothing. They're going to be dusty still. They're going to be trying to inherit their mama's house. Okay? Do it now. <laughs> What are y'all going to inherit if y'all would have dusted? Nothing. Most of them won't have anything because their mama's still written. Okay? So, get, these, get what you can get now. This is the best time. Get it now. Don't wait. <laughs> Don't think about this. All the men under the age of 40 probably think about what they own and what they're aspiring to have and all. Think about it. You better get grandpa's ranch or something. Uncle Grandpa's ranch. <laughs> okay. You better get something. Fastest way to get paid is to get married. I'm trying to tell you. All right. James ain't no vegan. <laughs> How do I manage these differences? I don't I don't manage them. I, <laughs> I buy him food that he likes and he buys me food that I like. Like when we when we order out, if I'm making the order, I make sure he gets whatever he wants. And if he's bringing me food, he makes sure I get what I want. We don't care. You know, we never ate the same kind of stuff anyway. Like even if it was um I like this type of cuisine and he doesn't, I'm still going to eat it. So I don't lose my identity because I'm married. <laughs> right. Um, what'd you say? If women like Beyonce get cheated on, do we even have a chance? 
If you get some money, you always got a chance, baby. If you marry somebody with money, you always got a chance. You marry somebody broke and get cheated on. That is sad. Now that's sad. At least her man had money. Okay. <laughs> There's a difference. Do I occasionally switch up my personality and style every day? Every day. Every day is a surprise. <laughs> Do I cook meat? No, I don't cook no meat. I don't cook meat for him. He got If he want meat, he got to cook his own. So no, I don't have to cook. See, that's the way you don't have to cook. Become vegan. Oh, I can't cook no meat. Be smart, man. <laughs> My lady tried to be sexy this evening. One ball of Easter. What she did. <laughs> um, I'm transitioning to vegan. Good. She or this man asked me to cook for him and he's not even my boyfriend, LOL. Sorry, he would be disappointed. Um, a man I text told me he sent me some money for some new hair and he still hasn't done it yet. How long, my girl? What was your response after he told you he was gonna give you some money? First of all, let me ask you that. Okay. So he probably not gonna do that. He probably just told you what you needed to hear at that time to get the result that he wanted to get. So, Remember when you enlightened me about it, Dusty, that brought me raw roast? What? Uh, I don't know. Raw roast. Did you burn it, girl? You gonna buy, if they bring you meat to cook, burn it. Or leave it raw. What are the two? So he'll never ask you to cook again. Sure, can you twerk? Just asking. Do I look like that I take time to practice twerking? This <laughs> twerking does not benefit me, darling. <laughs> to cook it for a the day. Oh god, no, no, no. Sure, where do you get good vegan recipes? Well, I just make regular food, but I substitute it with certain ingredients that are plant-based. So you can get them online for free. YouTube. What's the reason? What? Who asked that? I don't know who asked that. Bliss. Should we be humble then when we have a roster? How to be humble because you, because of you, I was giving money to start my own marketing agency. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I would play stupid and dumb and humble as long as I was, my money was not humble. Okay. For example, if you have some, some dude taking care of you and he wanted for you every night, well, then go out to eat with the other dude before you get home and just eat two bites of his food that he done worked so hard on cooking and I bet you he won't be cooking every night no more, okay? Collect your money from this one and collect it from that one, okay? That's what I would do. If I want to go out to eat, I'm going out to eat. Now, I come home to this dude who want to cook, I'm going to eat two bites of that food that he spent hours slaving over the hot stove for and I'm done. It's going in the garbage, or back into the refrigerator and some Tupperware because I'm not going to do what I don't want to do. That's just how life it is for me. I'm not going to do it. You know, uh, if you have money to start your marketing company, start your marketing company. Don't tell them about it though. 
okay? Keep your mouth shut. Do what you need to do so that whenever you're ready to go, you can get up and go. That's what I would do. Sorry. My plan will stay strategic and no one will know about it until it's done. Shoot, sure, do you still kiss James after he had... No, I don't... Girl, we've been married a long time. <laughs> like, think about this. Like, y'all are asking questions for people that have just got married, just in a relationship. Girl, I've been married over a decade and a half. Come on. You think I still... Come on, James. Give me a kiss after you just ate. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So, MG2OW, men, what, what, what does that mean? It means men grab their own weenie. I saw that in a comment one time and I had to take it. I had to, whoever commented that in the comments, thank you. Yes. Man, they grabbed their own weed. Thank you, LaBliss. I asked you because you was putting me on this, my place. That's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> thank you, Soyan. B Lux. What to do when he tells about sex with exes on third date? Start talking about some money, baby. Oh my gosh, that's interesting. Oh, to say it's interesting. Then start talking about, you know, oh, you know, oh, that's so interesting. Anyway, so I need to get a new wardrobe for spring. Okay, and skip over it, girl, skip on over it. That's interesting, but anyway. Thank you, Sam. How skinny should we be? Girl, I don't know about no being no skinny. I ain't never been skinny. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Be as skinny as the type of man you want to attract. You know what I'm saying? I say don't be too skinny, though. Just be proportionate. That's my thing. Be proportionate. Mm hmm Do I ever wear full blonde wigs? I sure do. I got all I got a lot of different wigs. I, does how does Jane react? He's so used to me changing up wigs. He I mean, but I think he likes um he likes when I switch it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, uh, you're a very spiritual person. Sometimes some of my spiritual views, but never in a forceful way. Sometimes I bring some of my spiritual views in, but never in a forceful way. How to don't make they think all, you, all is a barrier. Stop talking about it, Hannah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They shouldn't know your spirituality until after you get married, darling. <laughs> okay. They ain't marrying your spirituality, they're marrying you. That is your own personal belief. That is your own personal, keyword personal belief. Just because you are with a man does not mean that he has to believe everything that you do. Okay. You are two individual human beings and that is that. So I wouldn't really bother telling people about my spirituality, especially if I'm trying to get to their bag. I don't care what they do. Just give me my money. I'm going to still have my same spiritual views anyway, except I'm going to have money with it. Think, of, think for your future. Okay. That's all I can say. Just think for your future. Um, 
be not unequally yoked. Okay, well, if he don't know he ain't unequally yoked, then he don't know. You can you can say, oh yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And still do what you're gonna do. For me, it doesn't matter anyway. You like your money and bills paid? That's right. Me and James are not on the same spiritual path at all. So it don't matter to me and it don't matter to him. I need capital for my business. How do I get him to invest and not block my business connects? Don't tell him it's for your business. Tell him it's for something else and maybe he'll give it to you. Okay. <sighs> what, who in here want me to pay for their blonde weave <laughs> so they can feel like Beyonce, but Beyonce what? Oh Lord. <laughs> Y'all so silly. Mm-hmm. The title, men, women who take up for dusties or desperate pick mishas who have low self-value and don't know any better. I always say if you come across them, don't be evil to them. Just teach them better. That's all. You know, you deserve more than that. Don't because what they want to do is they want to argue with you to make it look like they're down for you know these dudes when they just got finished talking trash about their baby daddy dusty baby daddy two minutes ago they're trying to move on to the next dusty but if you take a second and tell them you deserve so much better than that you know um a b c and d and i hope you realize that soon you know instead of arguing with them tell them what they need to hear you know, if a, if a Dusty can tell Pick Misha what she needs to hear to get her paycheck and her tax returns, you can tell her what she needs to hear to level to get her level up on. Works the same way. Thank you, Grace Jones, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Belated compliment on the burgundy wig you had on the other day. You looked like an angel. It's a perfect color for yourself. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> Dusties don't know about politics <laughs> or investment or real estate. They don't even have a car or a pair of dress shoes or a suit, tie, or slack. Oh, gosh. That's probably true. Yeah, so don't don't down the women for being Pygmesia. Help them not be Pygmesia. That's all. And they'll think you care more than the dude because the dude is not going to respond to them. They're just going to be like, you know, they're gonna just ignore Pygmesia. But if you pay more if you pay more attention to Pygmesia than the Dusty is in a positive way, guess what? They will listen to you. Just do that, I promise you. On what basis does a woman deserve better? Um, Edward Smith, I think your mother could probably answer that better than I could. She knows you better, and she would be able to explain it to you a lot better. Um, if your mother were to date someone, Dusty, and the Dusty were to ask your mother to pay his Dusty bills, and um, would you be okay with your mother paying for a Dusty or giving Dusty have the rent while he lives in her house and disrespects her and also um, treats her like trash. Would you enjoy watching that? Because if you do, then uh, maybe that's why you're angry. So I don't know. I, you know, I always like to think, you know, a lot of these guys in here who are upset or asking certain questions, ask that to your mother and see what she says. Because I don't think you would want anybody treating your mother a certain way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They all, what? Wait, wait, wait. 
You just help five women. Yeah, it, it would change a lot. What's your opinion on hookers? Better than someone doing it for free. I just say that. That's all I can say. Some people giving it up free. I don't know. <laughs> Please answer what Dion. I don't see no question by no Dion. Hold on. Let me scroll it. I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Don't see it. No Dion's question. You might have to read. You might have to type it out. Or cop oh Dion here. Sorry, sorry. Hello, beautiful Sheer. I started taking a man who was seeing another woman when we first met. How now they are broke up. And I want to get in where I fit in. How can I win him over? Wait, if they broke up, you don't have to win them over. Mm -hmm. Okay. All you got to do is step in and just start and, and take the place. There's no, you ain't got to win nobody. Just step in. Start dating. You know. Correct. Right. How do you get a guy to get you a car after he promises it, but only in cash, no payments because he don't want to be left with a car note if it doesn't work out, etc. Get the cash. Tell him you found the perfect car and you finna go buy it. Get the cash and go put it on a down payment on the car you truly want. If you have a job or decent credit, you'd be able to do it or go buy, go buy a cash car and go get another sugar daddy and have him level you up on that car. You know what I mean? Either way, get a car. Beggars can't be choosers. If you can afford to make your own payments, use the money that he's going to give you as a down payment. If you can't afford to make your own payments, go get you a cash car, go get another sugar daddy, and have him level you up from that car. Trade that car in as your down payment. Get an additional down payment from your other sugar daddy and go get the car you want. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, strategy. Strategy. Multiple streams of income and multiple sugar daddy. That's right. Y'all thinking too one-dimensional. Y'all thinking three. <laughs> I need you to publish a notebook. The car combo. I am. It's coming soon, baby. It's coming soon. I'm about to publish again very soon. Y'all gonna have a new book soon. Thought y'all was independent. Thought y'all was men. You don't, why would we want to be independent when we can get your money? We could be independent and get your money. You see? I don't know why men always have that line. I thought y'all was independent. Not all women want to be pygmisha. Not all women want to be a man and go to work like a man and earn money like a man. We want your money and the money that we can get to. Okay. Not all women think that we the man in the relationship. Not all women want to say we don't need no man. We can do everything ourselves. We independent. That's the stupid women. We the women that says, oh, we need your help, darling. We need you to pay these bills. We need you to do this. We need you to do that. And we sit back and chill. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. We not all wanting to be that type of woman, believe me. Mm -mm. I mean, it's not that we can't do it or we're not doing it um, secretly, but we don't want you to know that. Okay. He cheated on me. Should you, should you cheat back? Does he have money? That's my first question. Does he have money? First of all, if you're going to cheat back and he's not going to find out, then what's the use of that? I mean, you can if it makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. 
But if you want to get caught and you want to keep him, he's not going to stick around if you cheat. Just understand that. He's going to leave you if he finds out you cheated. So if you do it in secretly because you want to feel better about the situation, fine. But if he has money, you need to make him pay some, uh, some type of grand gesture for your forgiveness. Okay? Like car, new house, new car, vacation, shopping sprees, you know, whatever you want. You need to get it. Okay? No free forgiveness. Okay. <laughs> Some of these guys just want little girlfriends to do administration administrative tasks that help them make more money. Could be. Um, I'm not working for no man that I'm in a relationship with. No, that happens. How do you win an argument? Stop arguing and start crying. That's how you win. Cry. Um. There you go. How long is too long to wait for engagement? Depends on how old you are, how old he is, how long y'all been together. If you're like early, if you're like 20, yeah, you need to wait for a while because you don't need to be getting married that young. If you like in your 30s or mid-20s, uh, I'd say no more than three to four years. Um, that's even too long, especially if, um, you know, y'all live together and stuff. So the longest I would wait would be four, three to four years. Anything after that long, I wouldn't be worried about getting married. Why these females always ask you the same question? Oh, maybe they're a new subscriber. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, teach pick me should don't, don't pull her down like the dusties do. Help her stop defending them and tell her she deserves better. And she, maybe she'll listen to you. Um, and maybe she'll stop trying to get attention from the wrong type of people and, you know, value herself a little bit more. Um, I think a lot of men rely on women with low self-esteem to get them to the next level and only to, um, for it to, you know, backfire on that woman. So honestly, it's better to help her than to put her down, you know, um, and even if she's not trying to hear it, she'll remember it, even if it doesn't hurt you one bit, because I mean, Maybe you used to be where she is and you can relate better and it will sound better coming from someone who has experienced something similar. So it's better to help the Pikmisha because the more we help Pikmisha, the less dust we have to deal with in our future. The less dust your daughters will have to deal with in the future. You know what I'm saying? So you're really helping your child, your your future daughters and, you know, men to you know, level up themselves if no one is going to deal with them anymore. So just think of it that way. You're really helping other people in the future by eliminating Pygmesia from the equation. And that means men will strive to be more than a dusty. Okay. So if you really want to do your part, if you want to make a change, start with, um, start with that. Mm -hmm. Mark says he loves supporting women but don't get mad when I cheat and if you cheat it's over right cheat with his wallet get that credit card while he sleep make him pay <laughs> if you get caught cheat. he said if you get caught cheating it's over <laughs> Okay, because you can't say you can't tell some you can't tell people what to do. They gonna do what they gonna do. If they get caught cheating, it may be over. So I said, ladies, if you're gonna cheat, make sure they got more money or just the same type of money as the one you gonna cheat on. 
So if you get caught, just on to the next with, with, without skipping a beat. Okay. Thank you, LaBliss. Is, is it Dusty if his net worth is 599K but smokes weed? Is Dusty if you think he's Dusty, baby? Because Dust is a different level. For, is he spending that money on you? Can you get that money? You know what I'm saying? It's dusty if you don't have access to it. That's all I'm saying. Can you go shopping whenever you like? Can you go on a vacation when you want to? Can you spend the money like you need to? Him having it does not mean you have it. Do you have his last name? Can you access the money? The point is, it don't matter what he got. What is he spending on you? Get your money. I don't care what he got. I, you can sit in front of a billionaire and he can still be dusty if he's not giving you any money. So if he's not giving you money and he's smoking weed and you still staying up there, he dusty. Dusty to you anyway because you allow it. What you got to do is get his money. Get his money. Mm -hmm. If you don't have access to that, then it don't matter. Should you... What? How much would you ask? What? I don't do that weed BS. Me neither, John. Sure, do you think you could beat me at Michael Jackson trivia? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm old. Maybe I could. <laughs> um. Tips on putting off the first kiss. Love your headband. Thank you, girls. Thanks, Michael. Kiss him somewhere else, not the mouth. Kiss his hand. Kiss his cheek. Tell him you just had dinner work done. So, just had dental work done. Mm hmm He is complaining about his last woman not giving him Christmas gift after dating for three months. Dusty Radar went off. Good for you, girl. Dusty Radar. Um, I'm so jealous of how chill she is, relaxed, not bothered, about to work, going to bed whenever, and waking up whenever. That's the life freedom tip. <laughs> Thank you, beautiful Muna. Yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Noella. Really, any provider men outside Christian circles? What? Any provider men outside Christian circles? I don't know what that means. I don't. I don't, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you got to be more precise. Like, really, any provider men outside Christian circles? I don't. I don't care what religion you are, as long as you pay me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not going to convert to be nothing that I'm not, so I don't really care what they are. It, you know. That's me too before the real. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, I, yeah, I'm on date, whatever, as long as my money coming. Personally, I think that if God isn't in the foundation center of the relationship, then it will fall out eventually. Well, I've been married for, oh, oops, been together for 18 years. So I don't think that's true. <laughs> Religion and God is not the foundation of my relationship. And we still going. And I don't think it's the foundation of many people's relationship. I don't think it is. Your dad converted from, from Baptist to Catholic. I meant the most men who tend to provide tend to be religious around. Yeah, I mean, I don't care. You could be, I don't care what religion you are. If it works in my favor, I'm going for it. You know what I mean? If, if I can work 
the angle in my favor, I will go for it. If, if he believes in God and he believes it's the foundation of the relationship, then I'm going to pretend it is too. And I'm going to play that role so I can get my money. <laughs> so, you know, just because you don't believe in something 100% does not mean that you still can't pretend that you do. That's all I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Vegans are superior. You said that the day you see a woman cheat on me, I'm digging a grave that night. Then dig too. You know what they say about digging somebody grave? You better dig too. <laughs> Lady, don't get caught if you're dating him. Okay. So, my husband divorced me a few days before Christmas. He said that I never made him feel good enough. I tried my best, but I had a bigger financial vision for us than I was actually receiving. Atlanta Circle of Moms. I'm sorry, but you should have had that vision before you picked your husband. And you should have picked the man that was already in that financial position. That's what I'm teaching. Okay, Don't try to push him to the next level. Make sure he already at the level you want to be at. And then get married. You can't marry someone who doesn't have the same vision. They already have to be there. And that way you know they got the same vision. Thank you, Abracadabra Beauty. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Don't marry and try to change that man. Marry him as you want him. Right. Um, sure, you made me dislike poor dusty men, and I say thank you for that. My new boyfriend loves me more than I love him, and he always buys me gifts and gives me money. I still do work, though. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, maybe if he gives you enough money, you can stop working. <laughs> but at least you got something better. That's still good. So. My mom told me if you want a man to marry you, put a chicken bone in his pocket. <laughs> um <laughs> I mean you could try it but I don't know <laughs> chicken ball <laughs> okay Some of them already got chicken bones in their pocket from eating wings. <laughs> anyway, what do you think about speed dating? My friend wanted me to go with her for moral support. I would do it just to talk about it afterward. <laughs> just to experience it and see what's going on. What would your question be? Do you have some money? <laughs> Ask the stupidest questions and then do a video on it so you can laugh about it. Do you have money? Do you have a problem paying for women? Do you like gold diggers? <laughs> I would just ask the dumb questions since I'm not really into it. Um. <laughs> You're going to freestyle at on MLK Day, okay. Why do some men constantly complain about money? Because they ain't got enough of it. You said Dion's trying to get advice about a guy who don't care. They don't care. Exactly. Move on to the next one. That would be my, my thing. A woman put a spell on me to love her, but it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, because men don't love. 
They lust. She should have put a lust spell on you. Okay. That's what I always tell you. Oh, why are you putting a love spell on a man? Oh, stupid. You don't love. You got a lust. A lust. <laughs> um. How can I ask him for money by sending him a cash app when it's still early in the relationship? I don't want to sound like I'm using him. Well, if you call him and act like it's a desperate situation, y'all seen the cash app lady uh, videos where she's, oh my gosh, I'm here and I'm here and I need some money quick. Can you cash app it to me? Like if you, if it's in an emergency situation and you're talking fast and you sound frantic and he got cash app and you got cash app, he going to send you something. Do you like that lady did on the video? I act like it's a real emergency. <laughs> <laughs> should you get plastic surgery to maintain your looks if you can afford it and if you want to if you want to and you can afford it go ahead sure my PLT said he can't be my sugar daddy because I look too young he is 56 girl you better get you some some old lady clothes and some old lady perfume and dress the part thank you LaBliss he's more sprinkled Here's more sprinkle. Oh, thank you. For people in the comments, because I asked your questions, other people in the world can't answer. My bad for asking, but hey. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, you asked someone else's question? What? Yeah. Is encouraging your man to make more money a pick me move? Um, I don't think it's a pick me move. I think that if you act like you deserve to be treated like you want to be treated, it will also mean that he needs to make more money. If you start having bigger requests, like I want to go here on vacation, I want this type of house, A, B, C, and D, what you going to do? You know, you need to let it's, and also you have to look like. You deserve it. You know, if he says, well, I'm you not the type of woman that I would marry if I was going to put that much effort in. You know, you can't be that type of woman. You got to be the type of woman that he wants to do that for. You know, a lot of men settle. A lot of men settle. Whether you know it or not, a lot of men settle because they know the type of woman they have is not going to push them to the next level because they don't think that they deserve it. So. Unless you are the type of woman that can get that from some other man, then he's probably going to be like, if he really likes you more than you like him, then he may, you know, put in more effort and try to get more money. So this all depends. Mm hmm. A rich dusty is worse. <laughs> right. How you level up your money but not your mindset. Mm -hmm. Shira, if a guy is doing everything for you and he gets an attitude because you don't because you haven't given it up, would you tolerate his attitude from time to time or keep moving? I tolerate it, shoot. Hmm. If he paying for everything, I, I think I could tolerate that. I would just tell him about some rings. Well, I need a ring before I can do that. And I keep building up everything. Oh, I need a ring. My car's acting up. I need a new car. Here you go. Hmm. She is pretty, but she sounds ghetto. I'm out. Bye. Have a good day. Nameless. My bank account ain't ghetto, though, baby. <laughs> okay, that bank account ain't ghetto. Remember, I'm not, I don't have a job. I don't have to speak professionally. I can talk however I want to talk. I'm free. 
<laughs> okay, I have to put on a front. I'm free. Only act when I need to act. Okay. I don't I don't have to speak as if I'm in the boardroom or talking to my boss. Or to a coworker. I don't have to do any of that. I don't have a boss. I don't have to speak with anyone except the way that I choose to speak to them. <laughs> right. So, I have found that, okay, it's fun being a hot woman, okay. No dusties for 2020. That's right. You don't have a job because you're scamming poor, desperate, lonely women. Why do I got to scam women when I can scam men? And I'm married. <laughs> I make more money because I could make more money scamming men. Honestly. Okay. You just mad because you picked me. I can help women. It's not a scam if you're helping them get money. Mm -hmm. That person is so ghetto. What? Y'all know it's always them pick me trolls. Or men with women names trying to sneak in here so they don't have to feel like they're less than a man. <laughs> okay. Right. What? What about Asian men? I don't know. Do they got some money? Get you some money. I, I don't care what type of man it is. Do they have money to give you, darling? <laughs> oh, go on lipstick alley for the tea girl. Nobody care about no chapstick alley. And look at their pictures too. Whoever posts and stuff about me, go click on their picture. There, there's the whole T right there. Gremlins. Them gremlins on Chapstick Alley love to talk about me. Yes. And I don't even know that know who they are. But all I know is they some gremlins. And they can have a good old day. <laughs> Make sure you bring more people to the channel as well. Spell my name correctly. Um Sitting here with young male friend who he knows nothing about this topic. Okay, he should he shouldn't be listening <laughs> unless you're just trying to give him some game. Uh huh. Uh, Diva, nobody care about you. Go ahead. You know you gotta go go to bed early so you can clock in in the morning. Go, girl, bye. Oh wait, it's Martin Luther King Day. You must have a government job and gave you the day off. Okay. All right. No meal tomorrow. Um. <clears throat> Forgot it was MLK Day tomorrow. You got your day off, girl. No school. You must. <laughs> no school and no work. No government work. Okay, you good. Hi, Shira. My sugar daddy gives me dip ins like $80 when I sent him a text about how I, it's not enough. He only replied saying that we'll talk. Girl, he ain't got no money. That's If you have three of them, you probably have way more money than that. You got to get more. Get more. Work on more. Mm -hmm. That way you don't ever have to worry about if it's enough or not because you'll have more coming in. From every direction would be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for answering. Oh, you're welcome. 
Mm -hmm. Hit the like button. Thank y'all. Yeah, that's a splendid note. That's a splendid daddy. Ain't no sugar daddy. Mm -hmm. You reading my books? Thank you, Melissa. I appreciate it. Thank you, girl. Girl, know your worth. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars is eighty dollars. Take it and go to the next sugar daddy. I mean, honestly, he can't afford it. He don't have money like that. Obviously, that's why you need to have three. Somebody gonna have to have some money around here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, I plan on becoming a licensed massage therapy. Will I find potential in that field? If you work for like a sports medicine place, maybe, or uh, somewhere where it just depends. You could. Especially if you are mobile and you go to people's houses. Work in sports medicine. Mm -hmm. Do you know TK Kirkland? I, I don't know. Nobody named no TK. Do I look like I know somebody named TK? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> what? Tell him you can't take from the needy. You're not that type of woman. <laughs> uh-huh. Shira is so unbothered. Yeah, I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. You said people automatically think happy ending. They sure do. Mm -hmm. Why am I up late? Because I slept late, girl. I slept super late today. <laughs> so I was a vampire today. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to be up for a while. I slept till like 2 o'clock. He was a famous comedian and he was on this site. Okay. Oh. Well, that's nice. Maybe he came to get some material. I don't know. <laughs> um, you want to see my legs? Then put some money in the uh in the thing down there. Okay, I don't work for free. I don't. I don't show people stuff for free. Why do you want to see my legs? Go on Lipstick Alley. They might have a picture of my legs on there. They got everything else. Uh, <laughs> they probably they probably gonna not even be my legs. Just like half the stuff on there ain't even the truth. It's gonna be somebody else's legs photoshopped on my heat, on my uh, body. <laughs> right. You don't make demands around here. You need to pay. So. I bought 10 lipsticks at Ross. Good for you. That's They have some, I don't know if they have like, um, a lot of those type of stores have like really good name brands. Like Sephora and Ulta will um, sell them to them. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there a such thing called Dusty Women? Of course there is. They call Pig Misha. Well, yeah, sometimes Pikmisha has money, sometimes she don't. <laughs> right. Pikmisha. Yeah, I have long legs. I'm five nine. I'm five nine. Mhm. Mm Do you like Donald Trump, a.k.a. the Great White Hope? Pennywise? Hey, Pennywise. I like you. I love you. Wow, first of all. Because he reminds me of Donald Trump. Yes. So, 
loved your movie. Only difference is that he's not white, he's orange. So, but yes, I love you both. Orange and white reminds me of Sherbert. And um, yes, his wife, I admire her for being a really good sugar baby. Um, he gets, you know, he brought a sugar baby into the White House. Very interesting. Gold diggers unite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I feel kind of lonely sometimes, but then I remember how bad life would be with the dusty break. I'm sorry, but you know, it's better to be lonely than to be dusty. How do you deal with your parents asking you to get a job, live with them, and just graduate college? Oh my goodness. Tell them you can't find one. You're just like everybody else do. I can't find a job. They'll be super mad if you work somewhere that does not require a college degree. You can do that. <laughs> okay. They'll be super mad then. Um, he's, what? I remember I was a junior in high school and I showed my boobs for, I have to say boobs, for $70 trying to get, what? You trying to let go of pick Misha? Well, good for you. Junior high school, I hope the kid that wanted to, that pay was in junior high school too. Otherwise, oh, that's illegal. Shame on you. When I was in junior high, it was people that were doing worse, so I can't I can't judge you. I've seen people do work. Okay. Bad kids out here, some bad kids out here these days. White, right, right, right. I love nerdy computer geeks. Good for you. Those, yeah, good targets. <laughs> Sloppy, what? Anyway, y'all are crazy. Reading y'all's crazy comments got me up here saying some crazy stuff. Anyway, how long should I wait to date after a divorce? I went right in. I would have been dating before my divorce was fine. We keep talking around. <laughs> Smooth transition is my motto. Don't skip any beats. Smooth transition. Always have another one. Always. Back up plan. Plan B, baby. Why wait? Mm-hmm. Keep just keep it moving. From New York with I reached up. You searched up Dusty Mint. What is this? It's kind of like a broke man who thinks he deserves to have a woman, but can't afford to pay for anything. Mm -hmm. 
You got some purses and shoes and leveled up, girl. Maya, good for you. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. My brother is a dusty to his pick Misha Navy wife. I want to show her your video so bad. Girl, your brother will hate you. He gonna be mad. Good areas to meet 50 to 40 year old men with money. Rich areas. Rich areas of town. So anyway, you went on a date with a Dusty, he didn't even pay. He didn't have no money to pay for the food. I hope you didn't pay her. <sighs> Poor thing, I'm sorry for you, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have paid. We would have been looking at each other. Better call your mama Dusty, come up here and pay his bill. Um. That is like, why would a dusty man ask you out on a date if he cannot pay? Were you just so excited to be asked out on a date that you didn't even realize he was broke? Like, we gotta we gotta start uh, asking these questions before we agree. So where you taking me to? Where you gonna spoil me at? <laughs> You know, old friend telling me his sob story about his ex leaving when he lost his job, trying to set me up. He sure is trying to set you up, girl. It's like, oh, that's unfortunate for her that she had to deal with you losing your job like that. I'm sure she did not plan on taking care of a grown man. Set him right back up. Good thing you got another job. <clears throat> okay, well, good, good thing you got another job or else we wouldn't be talking. Okay. How to handle male friends to make them more financially beneficial. Be cute, extra feminine, and ask them for whatever you like. If they don't give it to you, then they don't give it to you. You, you know, they don't feel that way about you. The more feminine you are, the more you can get. You know, more feminine you act, I should say. Do I think older men who are into young women are pedo? Not in, if the woman is over 18, it is legal. You know, there is law. There is that law. Okay. My mother is a pick me and father is a dusty. She stays with him even though he doesn't work and cheats on her. Ooh. Can your mother do better? Help her level up and start taking her out and let her have some fun. See if her mind changes about that. Mm -hmm. go, go get your mama outfit. Help her do her makeup and take her out. Okay. Sometimes you gotta Force people out of their comfort zone. She's just in her comfort zone. Sometimes you got to let them see what else is out there. Mm -hmm. Dion, you, I'm going to tell you when a guy is using you, when you have to do more work in the relationship than they do. Okay. If you're, if you care more, if you call more, if you text more, if you do more, if you put up with more crap, that's how you know. Okay. 
because I can guarantee you they could care less. They're not asking anybody questions about how to deal with women. They don't care. If they're not giving you anything, if you're not benefiting from the relationship, get out of it. Okay? That's just it. If you're doing more in that relationship than they are, that's how you know. Okay? That's how you know. If they're not doing more for you in that relationship, that's how you know. So, you are being used if they're not doing anything for you. You are being used if you're putting in more effort, worrying more, texting more, calling more, doing more. You engaged. Don't ever do more than the man. Ever. Mm -hmm. Can you do a video on your other channel about girl? All you gotta do is look good. Look like somebody wants to get you in the bed, and that's that's all you gotta do. And then act very feminine and ask for what you want. Love you, Shira. You're so knowledgeable. Have you ever had your heart broken by Dusty? Yeah, when I was young, like 17, 18, 19 years old, something like that. that it only took me one good time, and I was done. Thank you, Natalie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If it takes you more than one time, and you got to get it, what they call, driven into your school, then, hey, it takes you more than one time. It only took me one time. One time. And that was it for me. I'm done. I'm like, okay. Guess I'm just going to be about this money. <laughs> you know, sometimes it takes women a few times, but it only took me one good time. I was like, I'm, girl, I am so done with a dusty. I don't ever want to see no dust again. I'm only going for the money. Only going for the benefits now. That's it. Can't do it. Won't do it. Never, never again. So, you know, sometimes it takes more than once for many women, but it only took me one time. <laughs> mm hmm. Sure, how should an influencer display herself on Instagram? Since you said we shouldn't show too much and talk too much on social media persona, does it matter? Um, no one would know I was on Instagram. If I was on Instagram, I would have a whole different alias name. I would date people that did not get on Instagram because they were too old to know what an Instagram was. Um, I would look totally different in person than I do on Instagram. I would have a totally different name they wouldn't know that was me i'm just saying <laughs> so unless you're meeting them through instagram then they're not going to take you that serious to the point where you know unless they have a lot of money to secure you and don't have to worry about you you know entertaining other people because they know they have so much money that you wouldn't risk losing them then you know it could be a it could help, you know, it could be helpful, but if it's just an average dude or, you know, somebody that wants to hit it and quit it, I wouldn't tell anybody on my Instagram. Mm hmm Right. Don't stay with a man who even expects payment. What? Who wants some payment? <laughs> that is crazy. You went on a date with a guy. He gave you 800. We only kissed. Then he said he couldn't see me anymore because of the distance. I don't get it. Why did he do all that and then leave? Girl, you got $800. That's all I heard. And didn't have to do nothing. On to the next one. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Girl, it's too far. Long distance relationships are not real. Get your money and move on to the next one, girl. <laughs> Be thankful. Shoot, that sound good to me. Eight hundred dollars for a kiss. Mm -hmm. Time to move on. 
maybe you can call him up and he can send you some extra money. He sound like a, somebody that will send it to you through the, yeah. <laughs> you need a gold digger poison recipe right now. I want the whole pie. What? Okay, just get you some dust and an empty wallet. Put it in the blender and sprinkle it in her food. She will die. Straight up. She'll be an allergic reaction. We'll keep on in. <laughs> Only a only the kiss of true money will bring her back to life. Okay. <laughs> if you don't want, if you. Here you go. Um. Uh, you don't have what? Hey, you need a man who needs me to manage his money for him. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cheesecake Factory was the place to go at lunch in high school. That's not a real first date material. Your Mary Sugar Day lost his job. I live real pro rental properties and have never paid rent. Now he's asking for rent money, so I broke up with him. Did I do the right thing? Girl, maybe that was his plan for the whole entire time. And did he really lose his job? I don't know. Maybe he wants you to get another sugar daddy like I think you should to pay his rent, girl. You're going to have one sugar daddy paying the other sugar daddy's rent. No. <laughs> Time to get another one. Probably he wants you to move out so that he can get somebody in there and pay money. When it comes to femininity, I know many women that only wear dresses and skirts. Do you wear pants? If so, what's her feminine? Um, when I would go out to freestyle or when I would go out on dates, I would not wear pants. I would wear pants if I've been dating for a while and I know the person and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But I had to have on a dress, baby. Because that's what brings them in. If I wore jeans, yes, I would wear jeans with heels and a really feminine top. But we would already have to be dating. Everybody else get this dress and this skirt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would wear it after we started dating, like, but not freestyle. I just think that the dress is way more feminine. It's a good setup. <laughs> it's just a, a contrast from all the people around you. It's like it makes you stand out more. Okay. Well, I'm getting ready to go in a few minutes, but um, this was fun. I hope y'all enjoyed and got your some of y'all's questions answered. Um. Mm hmm. Thank you, Ashley Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Oh, that was a nice donation. Thank you. I only ever wear skirts and dresses when around sugar day. Good for you, Golden. Don't go. I gotta go. Who's selling their soul for 800 That's all you got? Dior XX? You only got 800 Are you asking about the, the woman got $800? She didn't sell nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
how to deal with provider that is easily angered by everyone. <sighs> easily angered. Including yourself? Is he easily angered by you? Cry. Your husband pay all the bills, but he has not been respecting my boundaries. What's your boundaries? I cut him off in bed, but he still didn't realize that I cut him out there because of his behavior. What? Well, he'll figure it out. Thank you, Lady Queen Sprinkle Sprinkle. How to trick him to get money out of a tight sugar daddy. Tell him you're pregnant. Sprinkle Sprinkle. If you, if you haven't slept with him that yet, that don't work. Um, Chances are, if he don't like you more than you like him, he's not going to give you no money. If you come up with a scenario like, oh, you know, I had to pay my mom's, you know, mortgage this month and I don't know how I'm going to make my own bills and, you know, I'm just a little bit stressed. If he don't offer you any money, then he's never going to give you any money. You know, if he's not jumping up to pay to impress you, he's the wrong target. You have to go get another one because he's not going to give it to you. So. Tell him you're pregnant. Yep. <laughs> Personally, personality goes a long way. Some of y'all just nasty attitudes, ugly and broke. Quani McQueen. Okay, I don't know if you're talking to women or men, but I hope it's a man. I hope you're talking to men. <laughs> I don't want to have the wrong impression. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Thank you, Misty. You used to be married to a du dusty Ophelia. He ruined your credit, drained your savings. Girl, that's what they do. And you had to do two jobs. Ooh, you rather stay single? No more dusty, dusty ruin your life. Girl, you should be allergic to dust for real. By now. Sorry, but that's messed up. Thank you. Not angry at you, but everything bothers him. Girl. I mean, that's I don't know, like it wouldn't bother me. I would laugh at it. It would be my entertainment. I'd set stuff up to make a mad just so I could watch and laugh. I'm sorry, that's just who I am. <laughs> You know, find the entertaining. Um, your guy is 58. He does all my bills. He pay all your bills and gave me money to start a business. And he calls my best friend. Is he interested? Is he interested in you or her? What are you asking me? <laughs> if he ain't your boyfriend and he not your husband, he's just your sugar daddy, he could call. He's gonna be calling whoever he wants to call. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just going to worry about his money and not who he calling. Give him all that. 
that's how you have to think. Oh, he calls her the term best friend. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's the that sound like a best friend to me. <laughs> sound like a good old best friend to have. I can tell you that. Why are you trying to take it to the next level when you just get money? That's the that's the goal, just to get the money. You know. See, he's, I think he's playing reverse psychology on you. Wanting you to want him more than he wants you. And so he's calling you best friend. Girl, yeah, best friend. Call a best friend back, baby. That's that reverse. Mm -hmm. Men tell you that you're pretty, but I feel like I don't know how to talk to them, so they lose interest. Ask them questions. Play dumb, baby. Let them feel like a man by helping you and answering your questions. Men love to teach and talk about themselves. Can I get your power back in the relationship? Stop cooking, stop playing, stop having uh, relations. Cut them off in the bedroom. Ask for what you want. Every time you ask for something, ask him for something. That's how you do that. Mm -hmm. What to do when your Dusty bought you a sex toy as a birthday gift? <laughs> I can't answer that. I don't know. I don't mean, I mean, he tired of working. <laughs> he tired of doing his job. He done bought his replacement. He he need a day off. I don't know. I mean. <laughs> oh goodness gracious that's interesting <laughs> this the <laughs> the dustosity I don't know, like, thank you so much. The best friend wants me to be independent, but now he speaks sex. Then he apologizes. He claims he feels the connection between us, a best friend. Okay, well. Well, if that was me, I would play on his attraction to me and ask him for more money. I would confuse him. Oh, yes, best friend. I'm attracted to you too, best friend. By the way, I need a little... <clears throat> Just keep getting more money, girl. Best friend is his pet name now, okay? The heck? It's not 3 a.m. where I live, Marcus, but hey, what you doing up at 3 a.m.? <laughs> it's MLK Day tomorrow. I got to go nowhere. Kids off from school. Yeah, Mugtow, MGTO. Teach men the same game you teach us. They teach, they teach y'all how to. They teach them how to be. Um, feminine women to get money out of men. That's interesting. 
Allah good luck. It's 2.53 in Atlanta. Oh, I don't live in Atlanta, baby. I'm in Central Time Zone. Mm -hmm. You think women are the best players and hustlers? They sure are. <laughs> I look good at 3 a.m. <laughs> Thank you. I try. Okay, it's getting cold when I think of some cold front came through. Mm. I need the art of seduction and watch some old movies like Gone with the Wind. Oh, you read it. Good for you. I had the most attractive 41 year old tell me after we went on two dates that didn't sleep with him that it would, wouldn't work because we had different views and ideas. That's because you talk too much. Told y'all to shit it up. When it came to sex, I was so hurt. Yep, yeah, don't talk. Whatever they say, ooh, that's interesting. Don't ever say no. They have to have hope. No hope. No money. It could be false hope, but it still has to be hope. <laughs> oh, that sounds interesting. Tell me some more. <laughs> okay, that's hope. That's money right there. Gotta be like, oh wow. That's so interesting. I can't believe that. Wow. <laughs> you wanna try it? Maybe. Why man want to have sex with you without investing in you for the same reason you want their money before you sleep with them? <laughs> may, the, may the smartest one win. The same reason you want money before sleeping with them. Okay. That's why. I need to learn how to talk. Yep. You need to learn. You need to act, actually. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Marcus. Sure, you gave me advice to date regular guys since I'm inexperienced, but I don't want to get hurt. What should I, girl? You gotta go get hurt first. Tell him, tell her why she gotta go get hurt. You gotta go get hurt first, so that you don't have any mercy when you get try to go after this bag of money. Okay. No mercy. Right. Excuse to tell what? Build your character, right? It strengthens you, exactly. I'm sure I spied on a Mugtow video, and he said he would settle down only if he found a woman who made more than he did. <laughs> we looking for Bob the build, Barbara the Builder, girl. We looking for Barbara. Barbara. He's, he's trying to be Bob the Builder. You spied. <laughs> so. Maybe I should get like an alias man name and pretend to be one and go up in the, the videos and like comment. Like, yeah, these women here, they want a masculine man and I just can't be that masculine all the time. And sometimes I want to just cry and take a bubble bath too sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I want to get pampered too.
Mm -hmm. Watch how many agree. Then <laughs> oh Lord. Thank you, Kat. I refuse to leave until I get sprinkled upon. I see it. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Marcus. Get off. I'm going to be like, you know, I should start my own MGTOW channel and switch them to this side. You know, I'll be, uh, I'll disguise my voice. I'll get one of the voice changers and I'll put like the screen up to where it just shows photos like they do because they don't want to be seen because they got to. You know, I'm talking like this. Mm-hmm, I would lead them right back to where they tried to run away from. Be like, hey. Yeah. Yeah, y'all need to find the women that are disgustingly uh, unattractive because that's the only thing that is going to pay your bills. I'm going to tell you how to do it. Thank you, petite sky sprinkle sprinkle. Potential sugar daddy planned a date, yet casually mentioned after that he just planned hotel stay in together. So canceled due to family emergency. He offered to help me without asking what's the excuse. Mm -hmm. I don't understand this. Planned date, yet actually mentioned after that he just planned hotel stay in together. LOL. So can you canceled due to family emergency. He offered to help without me asking. What's the excuse? Oh, you needed a family emergency. Thank you, but sprinkles, you can't think of one family emergency? Fake funeral? Get you a plane ticket somewhere too. Where your family from? The Bahamas? Come on. Get you a plane ticket while you're at it, baby. My aunt is in the hospital in critical condition. I got to go up there. I want to see her before she dies. I don't have money to get a hotel room up there. I can't stay with my mom because she's there. And she's, she's going to be trying to come in to town too. Get you a free hotel. Get you a free ticket somewhere. Get you everything you need to get and tell, then give him the date that you will be back and tell him to book the room for that date and then come up with it. Oh, I'm still in mourning. Come on now. That is the best thing you can do. It works. No one questions a funeral. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I was going back to um, the fake channel as a man. <laughs> Yeah, that would be hilarious. <sighs> Food poisoning when you get back, right? You're a cosmetology student. And what should you say for a man to invest? Tell him you want to start your own, you know, oh, I, tell him you need tuition. They don't have to know that you haven't paid for it yet. I need tuition. Oh, I, I need supplies. I might want to start my own business soon. I need to start saving up. I said sprinkle, sprinkle, Marcus. What? What do you think of women who are just happy sleeping with women and not getting into a relationship and claim they are so happy without us? Um, I think men that have to say that um, 
I don't know, I guess they're not ready to settle down. Okay. <laughs> I think a lot of men who are younger aren't ready for a relationship, period. That's why I don't, I would never date a young man. Now, when they start getting up in that age, that's when they want, that's when they want to settle down. So I don't expect a younger man to want to be in a relationship or want to do the right thing or provide and do all this kind of stuff. But I do expect an older, more mature man to want those things. So I'm not even looking for no young guy to even admit to that because it doesn't, you know, really exist. Um, you know, so I think that they're probably telling the truth and you should listen to them and not try to force a younger man into a relationship that you know he's going to cheat on you, do you wrong, do whatever he wants to do anyway. Mm -hmm. What age do I consider young? Well, when their money matches their age, you know, like young money. For example, you young if you you young if you can't pay all my bills and I don't have to work. If you're not secure in your career, you young to me. Okay, you young no matter what. But someone who is forty five. 49, 50 and up is going to be very secure in their career and able to fully provide for you, especially if you're young. Um, so that's the type of man that you should go for if you want someone mature and a provider is not going to play games, which get you an older one because these young ones, they're not going to do none of that. Not for, not for as long as you need them to do it anyway. Um, what? She would, do you think that talking about fake funerals is vib vibrating bad and attracting death and disease to your life? No. I used to work in a mortuary. I'm still alive, baby. So I don't think so. If the person doesn't exist and it's a fake funeral, then I don't, I don't think that it would do anything. <laughs> you know? I taught you well because that was my answer and my target. Good for you. See? Mm -hmm. Fake person, fake funeral equals real money. How you doing? <laughs> what do you think about dating a divorcee? Not recently. How much money he got, baby? That's my question always. Does he have money? Is he going to pay for your bills or buy you something or give you something? You know, I don't care if they divorced or whatever. Do they have some money? Otherwise, if you're not benefiting from the relationship, don't waste your time. Right. Right. <laughs> Do you recommend going for foreign men such as Russian who taught to provide for women already? As long as they got money. That's my answer. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shira. They always say mutually beneficial, but they mean if you cannot smart them. That's right. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What if they want sex after they give you money? Fake funeral, food poisoning, something. Get the money first. You're a bad liar, better practice. 
Okay. Hey. You feel bad every time you let them down? Not as bad as he feels. <laughs> um, I really wouldn't worry about that. What, Millen and Magdalene? Oh, you must be a man. Oh, Lord. What? I hope you're a man. I hope that you are a man. Can't lie being silent. What in the world? I'm confused. Anyway. Women want to have sex with men and lying doesn't have to occur. Who done lied to you though? Okay. Um, some women who need validation from men through sex, yes, they do. Some women who expect a man to provide and don't give themselves away for free only like uh, relations when they are highly beneficial. So you can't say all women because that's just not true. Um, right. Do I believe in true love? Yes, I do. I believe in true love of self, of children, of a partner who has proven themselves over the years as a great provider and protector. I sure do. But true love is not given to the person who has not proven themselves. Okay. So uh, probably, you know, after a couple of decades of marriage could happen. Mm hmm True stability and prosperity with a man of integrity. That's right. Chips on making your ex jealous and regretful. Level up and get a man with more money. That's the best tip you can ever do. That's the best revenge. Level up so that you're now out of his league. Get you a man with more money. And hopefully he'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Why are men never satisfied with the woman they have? Because they caught her. Okay. That means don't get caught. Don't ever be 100% gotten. Keep them chasing. Mm hmm. You always say level up. What? What? I always say level up. What does that really mean for us? That means look like somebody will give you some money. Like look your best. Go for targets that will like you more than you like them. You know, look like you deserve everything, you know, and that you don't settle for anything less. Put a lot of effort into your looks and how you feel about yourself so that other people will treat you how you treat yourself. That's what I mean by level up, you know? So you don't just blend in. You, you, you make a man cross the room for you. You have such femininity that they cannot say no to you, you know? So it's that level of being. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His wife caught him and he was paying for your college and everything. Oh, dang. Hope you had to. Girl, let's get another one. 
he gonna be out of commission for a couple of years until she stopped checking on him. Okay. Then he's gonna be like back out there once she once she didn't relaxed. <laughs> he'll he'll inbox you once she relaxed. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. It's just wrong to be with someone just for his money. Don't you agree? No, I don't. <laughs> Why do you think they earn that money, darling? Why do you think they earned that money? To attract the type of woman that they could not get otherwise, that's why. That, so I don't feel that. Um. Laverne, when I first met James, was like, yes, I was very straight up because I didn't I didn't care at that point. That's why it was a very big surprise. I was like, dang, he ain't going nowhere. Because I was really actually trying to get rid of him. When he approached me, I was like, asked him all the wrong rude questions. But he was too confident. And he answered them all. And that was that. <laughs> I, I was like amazed that he, I don't know if he knew I was being rude or not. And he said he didn't think I was. Maybe he just was happy to answer them. I don't know. Happy I was talking to him. I don't know. But it worked. But he liked me way more than I liked him. That's for sure. That's one of the keys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, how did I ask him for money? I told him I didn't work. I mean, he just gave it to me. Hmm. So, so the thing is, it's like sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you got to play the game, sometimes it's both, sometimes you got to get lucky and play the game. So, it's almost like the the entry was easy, you know, to get in and get the money and stuff. But then the um, the road to, you know, more is the game. So that's how you got to do it. Mm -hmm. Men will marry skinny women and sleep with curvy women because skinny women age a status, a status symbol. And one more thing, what if we have a sexual disease, nothing big or scary, we should tell our sugar daddies? No, because you shouldn't be sleeping with them. They don't have to know that. They, they should never get it. You should be like, oh, I can't, or oh, no, I got to be married. Oh, I need a ring first. Oh, you need to be my boyfriend, which means you need to pay out. You need to have every excuse. You need to be drawn out for a long time. They should never know. And you should, you know, have then, then you had a fake funeral. You gotta draw it out as long as you can. Don't ever do nothing with them. The less you do with them, the more money you're gonna keep getting. But make it seem like that they're gonna get it eventually. Oh, maybe next week. Oh, you know. Right. Is there any way we can help pick Misha so many of her my friends think that way and it's so disturbing? Tell just tell them they deserve more than that. Just keep telling him, oh, you know, you're better than that. I can't believe that he treats you like that. You should be, you should be 
dating someone that has a future and you know a good career and blah blah blah. blah. Just keep telling her she deserves more and be an example. Right. So anyway, I guess it's time for me to go, but I don't understand why some women want to rush to sleep with their sugar daddy. You're not supposed to be sleeping with him. Unless you want to and you don't have to work anymore and you got some rings and you good, you got a little stack in your account and you know. He's highly invested in you and you just decide that you want to. But if you haven't gotten a thing yet, if you still at work, and you, you know, no. They're gonna have to rescue you all the way. Make sure you have something saved and stacked. You know, when they give you money, you need to save a lot of it. But Mm -hmm. Religious talk can send some men running. Good test. A good test. Ha, huh? continue what? I'm not gonna be talking religion to nobody. Whatever your religion is, oh, that's interesting. Tell me more. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you said Rihanna's sexy, but she's masculine. Rihanna is like the she's a Pisces, you know, like me. Um, she can be both. She can be strong and feminine at the same time. And I think it's because she has such, you know, she can. She's so leveled up. Thank you, Petite Sky. Oh my gosh. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks to you, Shira. I went on an out leveled up during Christmas and I got another sugar daddy while in the parking lot at the mall. He took me shopping. When he asked what I did for work, I just told him I do arts and crafts. <laughs> he doesn't care. He just keeps paying my bills. All right, Petite Sky. That's how you do it. Thank you for that generous donation. I really appreciate that. God, that's a perfect place to find a sugar daddy in the mall and then you go shopping too yeah, i hope you got some good stuff <laughs> and around christmas time told you they'd be lonely around the holiday okay my sugar daddy gave me 1600 for nothing i still haven't met him but he has a replied to my message in five days is he no longer interested girl he probably i don't know how old he is but you know you got some money girl don't don't go looking for him and i look a little desperate just maybe you can say thank you so much i really appreciate whatever whatever and see if he texts you back but that's all i would do mm-hmm it's hard to feminine and feminine. What? Stop comparing yourselves to celebrities, first of all. You know, that's one thing that women have to stop doing. Stop comparing yourselves to celebrities. You ain't celebrity, babe. Okay. Um, Rihanna is a celebrity. So. You cannot really compete with that or compare to that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. She did use that guy, got her Fenty money. She used that billionaire to get his, uh, get his money, start her Fenty line. Smart. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah, because Rihanna is not just trying to look good for a man. She has to keep her fan base. She has to sell makeup. She got to sell lingerie. And she got to drop albums. Okay? She got to please pick Misha, the gold diggers. She got to please um, so many different people to keep her business running, to keep her money coming in. So you can't really compare yourself to her because she has too many people to get approval from, you know? So you're only trying to get, you know, somebody to give you a sugar daddy or a man or a partner or whatever. You're not trying to please everybody, you know? So that's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. If you bring nothing to the table, then what will keep him? Yourself. You bring you to the table. That's it. You know, your presence should be enough. If you think you got to do extra, you didn't, you didn't pick the wrong person. You know, they should like you more than you like them. Okay. So if a man approaches you, they like you, they approached you. You didn't approach them, they approached you. So why do you need to bring anything? Okay. <laughs> Does a job call you that you didn't apply for and say, what are your qualifications for this job? But I didn't apply for that job. You know, you want me? What's your offer? <laughs> you know? So, no, you don't bring anything to the table if they approach you, darling. Mm -hmm. Do you have a man? I sure do. I got a husband. So, nope. Don't bring nothing, baby, unless you want to be helping them build for the next woman. Unless you want to help build them up for the next woman, don't bring nothing with you. Right. Stay safe always. Okay. So. Don't bring anything. If you if you roll up bringing stuff, they don't expect to keep receiving things from you. You if you roll up saying I don't have anything, then they give to you. See, if they can, if they can't, keep rolling. <laughs> okay, bypass. Okay. You can wear a pink dress but have a masculine attitude. Femininity starts with him. That's true. If you don't, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm sick of that table. The heck? I ain't bringing nothing to the table. Uh -huh. I'm poor is a construction worker leveling up. Is he paying all your bills? Is he paying for stuff? Do you have to reach in your wallet or pocket ever? Like it's leveling up. And you know, if you're doing better than the last relationship, yes. What is Bob the builder? Women giving him her money or something? No, it's when a woman builds with a man. It's when you pay half the bills and the man pay half the bills. It's when you are sharing financial responsibility. Uh, that's Bar Barbara the Builder, Bob the Builder, because he's supposed to be paying all the bills, If you're, especially if you're married. Yeah, 50-50 chicks. Yeah. If he expects you to pay any bills and y'all are married or you sleeping with him, that's Barbara the Builder. You help building him. Right. You got to pay for everything. Okay. P. 
Pygmisha is a woman that will lower her standards to get with a broke man. That's so true. Um, this man told me it was way too much because I wore makeup and he would rather be with a natural faced woman. My reply is to go find one and they are everywhere she can look. <laughs> exactly. Don't let no man tell you what to put on your face. If he ain't paying nam none nothing of yours. He don't have any say so on what you do. <laughs> she can look like you exactly like a man. Mm -hmm. Um, I only want to share one thing with you, Marcus. <laughs> I'm about I'm about to go because y'all are silly. Yeah, natural means broke, right? You only see this advice working for slim young model types. Women, were, what if you're overweight and not as attractive as other women? Then lose weight. Level up. You know, you could still freestyle and date and things like that as you are losing the weight. That's something in my eye. My contact bug. But you still need to be, you know, getting to a point where you can attract the type of man that you want. You know. So, yeah. Keep going. I gotta go, but thank y'all for watching. Uh, see y'all later.